I've done several Undertale races in the past, and I've always won, by a landslide. So today, I decided it was time to put myself to the test. Could I beat Undertale's genocide route without using any items before my friend Orando could beat the Chupasuris route? Stick to the end to find out. I started the run story like any other run. I got tricked by Flowey, saved by Toriel, and then entered the ruins. But unlike the previous Undertale challenge, I was out for blood. I went through the ruins killing every monster I came across. And not just that, I specifically hunted down every monster living in the ruins. Jeez, that got dark pretty quick. With Nasty Luke running away in fear, I continued through the ruins, but something was off. I tried searching for any living monster, but nobody came. It's strangely silent here in the ruins. I 100% had nothing to do with any of that. Continuing on with the ruins, I went to Toriel's house, invaded her basement, and proceeded to absolutely destroy her in our fight. Why were the regular monsters harder to kill than the Guardian of the Ruins? I ignored everything Flowey had to say and exited through the Great Door. The Stoden monsters had no idea what was coming to them. After disobeying Sans, I proceeded to hunt down every monster within the same room in the forest. It was pretty easy. Too easy. I took a break to see what Aranda was up to, and he was moving pretty quickly through the game. He was already at Papyrus while I was hunting down the Royal Guard. Or should I say, Royal Dogs. But what can I say? I knew what I was coming into going into this race, and I was determined to kill the king before Orando could save the underground. With all the incompetent dogs out of my way, I proceeded to march my way through the rest of Snowden and enter the town. But once again, it was strangely silent. Not a single monster in sight. Except for that's one kid who isn't scared of me apparently. I stormed my way through the town and went on to battle Papyrus. I sliced this guy's head off his body. And he forgave me? This place is too weird for me. Let's move on to my favorite location in the game. Waterfall. Waterfall is the easiest area to slay monsters. You basically just progress normally and they come to you. And so I did just that. I killed every monster there was until nobody came. To combat the severe silence I brought to Waterfall, I decided to take a break from Genocide and play this random piano I found. Why do I do this in every challenge or race I ever do? A little before I reached the end of Waterfall, that strange kid with no arms confronted me. Was he confident in himself? Or was he a complete idiot standing up to me? I put that to the test. I swung my trusty stick at his poor soul. And he was absolutely doomed. That's what I thought. And then Undyne stepped in. She dare prevent me from obtaining my free XP? Bring it on! But little did I know, I was no match for her. Normally, I am insane at this fight and can easily do it without healing. But today was different. I was kinda tired while recording this. So I kept getting hit at these stupid parts that I would never get hit at. And even worse, I was constantly dying to that stupid goddamn attack. I probably died about 6 times on this attack alone, and 90% of the damage I took was from this attack. Maybe if the hitbox actually works properly. And I'm being serious, this attack has the most fucked up and broken hitbox in the entire game. Not to mention that you also got barely any invincibility frames here. The more I died, the more I hated myself. And the more I hated myself, the more I would die. How is it even possible? The fight I can normally do no problem gave me the most trouble in this run. While I was struggling staying alive against this stupid fish, Aranda was making his way through Hotland. If I don't pull myself together right here and right now, I would lose this race. And there is nothing. I can't stand more than losing. So I paid no attention to anything other than what was on my screen in front of me. And this happened. Fuck that stupid, non-existent hitbox. On my second attempt of focusing up though, this happened.
With this stupid undying fish out of my way for once, I proceeded onto Hotland. Hotland itself is easy as hell. You get like two encounters, incompetent guards phase two, Muffet, and then it's onto the core. The core though, is a really long area in terms of encounters. With only a stick as my weapon, it takes several hits just to kill a single monster. And while I was hunting through the core, a rando was fighting Metaton. Things seemed in my favor, since he would still have to fight Asgore, Omega Flowey, and go through the True Lab to finally reach Azrael. But I still had Sans to deal with. And if the Undyne situation happened with Sans, it would be really bad for me. Pushing through the dust of all the fallen monsters I killed moments earlier, I made my way to Metaton. But he was no match for me. Why does Genocide only have two actual bosses? It would be so much cooler if you actually fought Metaton, Neo, and Azure. But anyways, I stepped into the longest elevator on the planet, made my way through No Home, and oh my god, would you shut the hell up already? With Folly backing off for once, I stepped into the last corridor and met up with Sans the Skeleton. Sans. With the way Undyne went, I expected to be stuck here for an hour. But it was easier than I anticipated. I died a couple times due to taking too much damage in phase 1, and all my other deaths were tactical resets to save time after screwing up an attack. Don't ask me why I didn't just quit out of the game to save more time between attempts. It didn't take long before I reached Sans's second phase, which is actually easier than his first phase. Maybe I just suck at the first phase, or maybe I'm good at the second phase. I don't really care. All that matters is that I kill the king before Rando can save the underground. And so, I made it to Sans's final attack, and frickin' died to the Gaster Blasters. Not gonna lie, I was really irritated by that. But on the next attempt, I pulled this off. Sans was dealt with, and Aranda was fighting Azure. And now my only objective was to take out the king and kill this annoying flower. But they were no threat to me. I managed to take another win against Aranda once again. And I will say, this was way closer than all the previous races. But wait, I had one last encounter to do with. Kara. Yeah, I noped the hell out of that and ended the run, 